Hey everybody, welcome to uh, the beginning of Cloud Native TV. This is the first this week in Cloud Native. We're your guest hosts. I'm Kat Cosgrove and Tim. I'm Tim Banks. Yay. That was a, that uh, was a dope trailer. I got to admit, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty hyped. I, I, just need, <laughs> I just need the voiceover in the world. You know, that one. Oh my God. Yeah, we should have gotten like the the movie the movie guy we yeah, needed the movie right. trailer let's guy start all over again let's just you know, yeah scrap throw it away out. cancel the stream we gotta re we gotta redo the launch i'll let um i'll let pop and the cncf know yeah. but <laughs> before we get into this we should note that this is an official live stream of the cloud native computing foundation and as a result we are subject to the cncf code of conduct so Please don't put anything in the chat or in questions that would be in violation of that. We will be watching for it. Um, be respectful of all of your fellow participants and of us, your hosts. But if you do have any questions or uh, comments, you can just put them in the Twitch chat. We will see them and we will respond live if we if we can or if it's just seems interesting and fun. But uh, like I said, we are our guest hosts. You will get a fancy new host for this next week, but new we and, both new have our own shows. New and improved. New and improved. <laughs> we're um, we're sad stand-ins for the real host, it's, but it's, really, it's it's kind of pathetic. It was literally the bottom of the barrel. But hey, what can we do? What can we do? You know, um, somebody had to do it. It's it's a shame that they couldn't get anybody cooler on short notice. And um, Lord knows nobody likes us and we're unpopular. This and, is very uh, true. This is very yeah, true. We're not funny either. No. See, nobody no. laughed. Nobody. Not a soul. Nobody. Nobody. Not a soul. How dare y'all, honestly. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm, I am already butthurt. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm going to cry about this later. <laughs> yeah. Then I have a therapy appointment right after this. So it's just, it's bad. Oh, that's good. That's timely. But uh, I guess we should like, introduce the shows that are launching this week huh yeah absolutely i think it's a good idea <clears throat> like i'm i'm to be fair i'm i'm super excited about this i just want to like, take a note to recognize that before we start talking about these a lot of people have put a lot of work about these shows like a lot of people have put in a ton of work there's been a lot of discussion you know i'm not blood sweat and tears but probably certainly some sweat and some tears maybe um so i'm really excited to to, to introduce some of these shows to you uh so um as Kat mentioned, normally this is the time slot for this week in Cloud Native, um, you know, and then coming up starting tomorrow, we have the show uh, Navigating the CNCF Landscape. Yeah, that's uh, Anais's show. And I don't know if y'all have noticed, but the CNCF landscape is actually kind of uh, enormous and deeply overwhelming. It is uh, too much for me most of the time and I'm a CNCF ambassador. So like ostensibly it is part of my job to know my way around this, but uh, I still don't. So if you don't, you shouldn't feel bad about that uh, either. Tim, do you know your way around it? I did no clue. Like I know like, I'm, if you're gonna, if you're gonna boil me for an answer, I'm gonna name you like five things and they might be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of uh, in the same boat with you there, which is why my show on Wednesday uh, goes into kind of an explain like I'm five for the various 9,000, there could actually be 9,000, I don't know, I can't keep track of them, projects in the sandbox, because uh, they're, they're cool, they're up and coming, but they don't get as much attention as incubating or graduated projects. And uh, the first one I'm going to be going into is Tinkerbell. So nice. Tinkerbell is one near and dear to my heart. Oh, right. Yeah, I so I as I some people may know, I may formerly used to work at Equinix Metal, and uh, that was one of the projects that they come up with um, and got adopted very recently into the uh, CNCF sandbox. So, um, a lot of folks I know have put some work on it. So I'm excited to hear, you know, and see you you talk about that, Kent. Yay! Yay! Yeah, I don't actually um, understand super well what Tinkerbell is and does, which is which is why I'm doing this show. Because I genuinely don't know what most of these things are, uh, I don't. I don't have the context to understand why they're useful. 
So uh, every week, a maintainer from some sandbox project is going to show up and try to get me to understand what this thing does in about 30 minutes. Now, it, is, this, is this a gong show kind of thing? Like if they don't, then they get like go through a trap door or something like that? Oh, yeah, they get they get dunked. They get dunked. We've yeah, got one of those like uh, like water water dunking things like mm -hmm. at the carnival. So, yeah, like yeah, I we're gonna dunk. I would maybe just as an option, maybe mm -hmm. have somebody like come on the screen with a little little hook and pull them off like a um, Apollo style. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's an option. I'll talk to our producers and uh, and see if we can. Hey, Pop, I see you in the chat. Can we get yeah. like? I think it should be Pop doing that. Yeah, Pop, can you do that for me? I just need to, you to yoink somebody off screen if they can't teach me what their thing does. We'll just say, Pop, if you're not watching, Pop said yes. He'd love to. Pop said yes. That's, oh, whatever you want. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Thank you. That's, that I appreciate your support. That, that, that is a blank check. check. We're, we're absolutely going to take advantage of that blank check you just wrote us, by the way. So dangerous choice there. Dangerous choice. Uh, <laughs> so, and then uh, I know that Thursday we've got Kaslin show, right? Is it, is we it? do. We have Kaslin show, and I think first thing she's going to do is deploy a personal blog on Kubernetes. Uh, the show is called Fields Tested, uh, so it's it's each week it's going to be a a hands on with some CNCF technology. I think her show is actually every other week, but. Most of these shows are every other week. So it'll be different shows every week, but we always have something going mm -hmm. on. And so the CNCF technology in this show is WordPress, right? It is. <laughs> yes. CNCF, WordPress is definitely a CNCF technology. You know, it's Kubernetes, but um, this is an issue that's near and dear to my heart because my, my friend Aaron um, loves over-engineering stupid stuff. So his personal blog is actually deployed on Kubernetes. Oh, I love that. It, and, it, I just feel like if anything is worth engineering, it's worth over-engineering. Oh, for sure. For sure. Uh, I once needed to deploy like a piece of, you know, cheap Python automation, but I was being required to do it with Elastic or with AWS. And I don't really, I don't use AWS very well. The console overwhelms me. I'm more of a, more of a GCP kind of gal, mm, but uh, mm, actioning already. Yeah, uh, I tr I tried doing it with Elastic Beanstalk, and I had so much trouble with it that I ended up just like kind of rage quitting writing a Helm chart and over engineering a single piece of Python. Are you automation. listening? Are you listening, AWS product team, Elastic <laughs> Beanstalk team? If you're listening. You should take some feedback. I'm sure Cat, Cat's, uh, Cat's uh, you know, Twitter is right there in there. So you can Damn reach me. out to her and, and uh, talk to her about it. That was a mistake, Cat. I don't think you should have done that. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's I'm kidding. Okay. No, it's but, fine. Uh, but no, I, I, but I think, I think the cool part about it is we're talking about like um, one of the things I would really like to see out of Cat's show is that some of the heartaches and some of the, some of the, some of the rubs people have trying to do this. Like, you know, if, if literally if this was easy, everyone would do it. We don't probably mostly not have jobs, which I would be sad about. So like having some of these explanations and talking through some of these things that some of these common problems we were having is going to be for me, super useful. I'm definitely going to check that one out. Yeah, definitely. Like it's just, it's really easy to forget that some of this technology is, is very, very young. It's, it's very, very new. And even if we feel like experts, like the, the overwhelming majority of people aren't. So even really simple, simple air quotes, simple stuff like deploying a blog, uh, that's that's an important thing to, to teach people. Um, I'm also a big fan of the hands-on approach. I am very much a, I have to do it to learn it kind of person. Like, So I think her show is going to be particularly interesting and I'm excited to see where it goes. So even if you think that you are already an expert, I would super recommend checking that one out as well. Yeah, I'm stoked. I, however, I'm not an expert. Don't think I am. So I won't be watching it anyways. Oh yeah. I, uh, Twitter decided I'm an expert, but, uh, let me be clear. I don't know what I'm doing. I, it, <laughs> and that's okay. It's okay to not know what you're doing. Uh, as long as you admit that, 
you know, and, and ask for help and are aware of your limits. Um, you don't know what you don't know. So, yeah, no, I think and this is what is good for. I do think, uh, what's, what's the, uh, what's, um, raw code's got that one on Friday. Uh, uh, looks good to me. Is it now, is it looks good to me or LGTM? Like what's the actual style guide? Well, you know what? I'm looking at the docs for it and there isn't a style guide for that. Is it looks good to me or is it LGTM? Or is it looks good TM? Look, looks good trademark. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, uh, hey, 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 raw code. <laughs> we need a ruling here. <laughs> we need a ruling here, buddy. We, we need we need a gift GIF call. Oh, mm. but it is. But it, we all know that it is my SQL. It's my squirrel. Oh, it's, it's slash LGTM. slash slash LGTM. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna say the whole thing. That's fine. We can do that. So raw code. So slash LGTM. Yes. Which which does not feature my SQL. My squirrel. <laughs> um, and I think he's doing, is that with Prometheus? Yeah, that's with Prometheus. And uh, they're just, he's going to be picking a different CNCF project every week, working with the maintainers to provide an interactive walkthrough that shows out how to get started with their projects, which again, real useful because yeah. there's, so, there's so many things. Well, it's, like I've been using, I'm an early user of Prometheus. I love Prometheus. Uh, it's, it's has, you know, very useful for, for you know, observability into a, into a pretty complex infrastructure stack. But it, it is not necessarily the easiest thing in the world to get started with, especially with all the bells and whistles it has now. So again, yeah, this is going to be a great show that I want to check out because I want to see, like, it's been a couple of years since I had to do a pre -Prometheus, uh, Prometheus deployment. So yeah, I want to see how that goes. Yeah, uh, Prometheus is, is so cool, but like, that that's a problem I think we increasingly run into as technology gets more complex. We start like building tools that are abstraction layers for abstraction layers for abstraction layers. And it gets like further and further away from the actual code we're writing. And that introduces a different kind of complexity, you know? So the easier things make your job sometimes the the harder they can be to understand. There's some very good wisdom in this one that I learned from uh, an engineer whose name was Montgomery Scott. And he was a lead engineer on board a, a starship called Enterprise. And what he said was during a refit is that the more they overhaul the plumbing, the easier it is to stop up the drain. Wise, wise words from Mr. Scott. Wise words from did you your know, buddy, Mr. Scott. Did you know that he also invented transparent aluminum? Wow, I had no idea. Tell me more about that, Tim. Well, it hasn't happened yet, but but it will. But yeah. we're we're on the way. It's a startup in San Francisco, apparently, as I understand. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Did we need more? We needed more. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, we have one more show uh, this week. It's Pop's spotlight on KubeCon's past, present, and future, and he's going to have. Constance, Stephen Augustus, and Jasmine, all uh, the chairs for KubeCon. Word. That's going to be, be exciting. It is going to uh, be exciting because it's been it's been a weird like year for KubeCon. Really? What's been going you know? on? How, how has last year been different than any other year, Kat Cosgrove? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, Tim, but there's been a Panera Bread Company. And there has been. Then they make paninis. They do. Uh, there's been a Panopticon, a Panny. Uh, Panasonic. Panasonic. Panopolis. Panopolis. Pan pizza. <laughs> pan pizzas everywhere. Oh, pan pizzas. Personal pan pizzas. More than more than you can shake a stick at. <laughs> I, I don't know. I can shake a stick at a lot of pizzas. I've got a whole stick. I uh, forgot to eat today, which is pretty typical of me <laughs> on, on days where I like have something to do in public. Um and now I, I like super want pizza. I literally like forgot and so I had to mix this is Soylent. I'm not endorsing Soylent, but I just drink it. And like literally just chug this down before I just turn the camera on before. It was like, and I don't know if you ever chug Soylent. Um, it's, it's, I don't recommend it. No. It. No. I, I don't do Soylent, but um, I, I do drink Huel sometimes, um, which is basically the same. Yeah. So 
it just the packaging even looks very similar because I almost I almost ordered does. it. Think it was yeah, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. But no, I, I was gonna say one thing about KubeCon too that I think is important to note because I mean we're gonna want to hear people are gonna want to hear like I know my concerns about like safety and COVID and vaccination and all kind of stuff like that like you know how are how are they going to make it a safe environment for folks to want to come out to I know it's going to be in October I know it's going to be in LA. Um, yeah. But, you know, really answer some questions and, and let people feel good about that. Like, we're all excited to see each other in person, I think, except for the people that never like seeing pe uh, people in person. Um, and then they had a good excuse. But now now they're going to be kind of forced to, get, to come out of hiding. Um, but, you know, we want to do it in a safe environment. We want to all feel good about it. So, yeah, I'm mean, super excited about that. Yeah, it's going to be. Uh, and Stephen, Stephen is always extremely fun on camera. So I uh, I don't know Jasmine or Constance personally. Uh, I don't either. Hmm. I have to assume that they're cool too because they're associating with Steven and also yeah. I was gonna say yeah yeah cool. I mean we we feel that if, you know Steven's cool, then Constance and 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 Jasmine have to be cool because if they weren't cool, then Pop isn't you know maybe maybe kind of cool. And if he's not super cool, maybe. then maybe there's it's just not the right vibe. So it's cool to have three cool people and then maybe pop, maybe it's slightly less cool. Yeah, um, I mean, <laughs> always yeah. assume cool first. Yeah, <laughs> I I try to. I try to assume cool first. Tim and I are both, uh, are we cool? I, I don't know that I care if we're cool. So does that make us cool? It does. I think that's actually a key component of being cool. Oh, somebody! Somebody says we're cool. Pop is maybe cool. Pop, pop is like quantumly cool. It depends. It depends. Okay. Uh, I hope you're both cool. I'm trying to be like you. Oh no! Please Aww. don't. No. Well, I mean, don't... gosh, no. I wouldn't wish you that on anybody. Yeah, I I got uh, CNCF famous off of uh, the Docker shim disaster. Mm -hmm. So I, I really I wouldn't recommend repeating that process I, if i had to think of one thing that i'm cool for it's crying so oh, that's like that's that's good to be <laughs> like vulnerable with your emotions i, I suppose public, though. My, my partner is literally gonna has, has said she's gonna start a thread on why is tim crying today <laughs> <laughs> well hopefully it's over something good and not oh, yeah. over struggling with technology uh i have definitely uh rage cried over technology before we've got a question about your bass guitar it is it is a very cool bass crying and involuntary yeah i do do involuntary yoga um my bass yeah that bass is is it's pretty cool i've been playing for wait what year is it 2021 i've been playing bass for 36 years 36 years 36 years yeah Ooh. jeez are you gonna play your own like intros for your show? You have a show you should talk about too, by the way. I do have a show. My show is called Solid State. Um, my show is not tech. So um, if one thing, a decision that I made a while ago, and when I say a while ago, right around the time of the murder of George Floyd, is that I'm done talking about tech. Like there's a lot of people talk about tech. There's a lot of people that are way smarter than me to talk about tech and I will leave that to them. I'm interested in people. I'm interested in how to help people, and I'm interested in their stories. And that's what we're going to talk about on Solid State. We're talking about people's stories, and we're going to see how they've been helped and how we can help others. That said, I'm not going to play the bass intro on my thing because, like, Barney Miller, like, just has did such a good job on a bass intro that I can't really, I can't really top that. It'd just be it'd just be second, third, fourth, thirty th sixth best, and I'm just not into that. That's fair. Uh, I also know when I am not the best person for uh, for a particular job, and it's it's better to you know step away, take a bow, and let someone more qualified handle a situation. So I this, feel you. Speaking of which, this is also a good time to remind folks. Please, if you like what you're hearing, please smash that follow button, right? And if you don't like what you're hearing, smash that follow button anyways, and then just kind of politely heckle us in the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're really good at handling heckling um, because we're we're both extremely online. So, like, 
extremely online. So hackle away. Uh, if you have already smashed that follow button, as uh, somebody in the chat says they have, then, you know, perhaps hassle your friends and coworkers oh, yeah. into yeah. smashing the follow button. Uh, because really, like who wants to subscribe? Yeah, like everybody smash the follow button. Like just everybody. Resm well, I don't. If you resmash it, does it unsubscribe? Don't do it. Don't do it twice. It's not like don't do it twice. Don't do it twice. Like it's like in 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 uh, Mystery Men. Like was the gratuitous toggle flip. Like don't don't do the second toggle flip because then you'll fry Captain Amazing. Oh yeah, and we don't we don't want to we don't want to get fried. Like oh, I lost a cat. Oh, is it her? Is it me? <laughs> Mic malfunction. No, no. Uh, so while while Kat is waiting to do that, it is my firm belief, and I have just a ludicrous amount of anecdotal evidence that says that the best engineers are terrible at AV. We're the worst at AV. Can't do video conferences. Can't like conference room. Can't do a conference call. We're just awful at it. So. I feel like the better the engineer, the worse they are at AP. We will also blame this on Pop later somehow. I'm not sure how we'll figure it out. We'll do an RCA and, and we'll make Pop at fault. <laughs> Still not there, Cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I, I like that. I like that Ellen said in chat. It's like a... If one's AV is too good, then their code dot dot dot. And I'm like, you know, maybe that is the case. Maybe, maybe. you know, they're inverse proportional. Oh, I'm getting you a little bit. Ooh. There you are. Do I exist? I exist. Yes. Cool. Cool. I actually don't like this microphone. It's very pretty, but um oh, there it we has go. is a very pretty microphone, but it has issues with uh, like automatic we changing the gain, which is obnoxious. Uh so Heads up, if anybody has a HyperX Quadcast S and knows how to fix that, uh, DM me, because I want to love this mic, but I hate this mic. Yeah. Oh, by the way, someone asked what RCA is, is a root cause analysis. Now, Tim, do you believe that a root cause exists? I think that a root cause... There are rare cases when it does exist, and usually it's very, very easy to find. Um, but in most cases, you have a, so many contributing factors, and that's what you're weighing is which factor that you discover is going to make the most impact on on whether something happens again or or how to how to affect changes that that will prevent the, that you know whether it's an outage, whether it's a bug or whatever from happening again. Um, so you know, it's, it's funny because actually given long, long soliloquies on this and in, in customer meetings. But in the end, when you do a root cause analysis, just you have to know that it is never just one cause. There's a human cause, there's an organizational cause, there's a procedural cause, process cause, cultural causes, all these things can 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 weigh in. Um, and then so it's usually going to be a series of things you have to do to fix something, not just one thing. Okay. I, uh, ooh, is that better? Did I fix it? Crash loop back off. Oh, Did yeah. My, my mic is definitely on crash loop back off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure what's happening. I have another microphone, but it requires an XLR cable, and uh, I don't have it set up yet. Yeah, I, I, li I like the subtle flex. Let me, let me go ahead. Just, uh, oh, just yeah, my. Mm. So my base is that way. <laughs> it's my it's my rock climbing arms. Uh, I don't actually lift weights or exercise in any way. It's just uh, just rock climbing. It turns out if you just do that, like four days a week for like years, you you get jacked. And that's <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just, it's just, <laughs> my 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 arms come some from lifting, but mostly from lifting people. So. Ooh! But I also have the jujitsu tan, as you as you see. Don't worry, summer's coming. I'll I'll, I'll I'll get dark again. But oh, speaking of people, 
we should talk about Maddie's show, even though it doesn't start this week because it's cool. Tell me about Maddie's show. Maddie is hosting yet another game show. You may know Matt Stratton from uh, DevOps Party Games or from Arrested DevOps' podcast. But uh, Matt is going to be hosting a like tournament-style game show with uh, CNCF projects competing. Uh, I think we're doing eight teams at first, but it's going to be called CNCF Face-Off. And... <laughs> Everything Matt does is so incredibly over the top. Like it's it's always very funny and technical at the same time. So it's not going to be like dry technical content. People are still going to be talking about technology. It's just going to be in the form of jokes. And uh, I don't think you can make a good joke about a technology unless you actually understand it super well. Uh, otherwise, you know, it just doesn't doesn't really land. Um. That's why there are no Bitcoin jokes. Ooh. Nice. Uh, Tim, you've been on DevOps Party Games several times, right? I have been, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I think you and I are like toward the top leaderboard. Did you have to retire from the leaderboard? Uh, I have retired, um, yes. Because it wasn't fun for people anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I must give everyone else a chance. Here, you may have it. Yeah, I'm, you know, a considerate overlord. Yeah, we are one and two overall. So we are, uh, so in DevOps party games, there is a an overall thought leaderboard uh, comprised of people's scores over the course of, I think, three seasons now. I think we're on three seasons. Yeah. And um, somehow... I am number one still, and Tim is number two. Tim has not retired though, so Tim absolutely can can overtake me overall. But uh, I'm retired. I am a thought leader emeritus emeritus. emeritus. I learned that word from reading, so I don't know how to yeah, pronounce it. But uh, CNCF Face Off will be similarly fun. If you have never watched DevOps Party Games, watch that too. But CNCF Face Off is also going to be extremely fun. It's going to be very different though. Because it is a, a tournament style bracketed thing with teams, not a uh, Jackbox game deal. But uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to that one quite a bit. Uh, hey Tim, do you have any of the the CNCF certifications? I have exactly zero certifications. Hey, well, I take that back. I am a Sun Certified System Administrator, and I have an MCSC mm -hmm. from. NT 4.0 days. Wow. I have um, zero certs as well, um, <laughs> which is, we should, we should get the we should CKA. Yeah, we should, mm, we you should know, do got, that. I just remembered I got some AWS certs, but I don't, I don't count those. Uh, good news for us not having uh, any certs um they're redoing the exams and training material right now mm. so we'll get the the shiny new good stuff which is gonna be rad because there's like four of them i think okay right? nice four or five um do see. we do we get access to a special lounge at, at kubecon if we get our certs oh uh, i think we should we we know the people we can run crying to. There should be a VIP lounge for people I, with certs. If you're being honest, I don't need much of an excuse to cry. So I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I, look, I cannot make it through one episode of Sailor Moon without crying. Like not even one. I just it takes so little. I will just I will just cry at the drop of a hat. That that's so. a question I want to ask for the a larger audience. You can comment on here. You can comment online. I don't know what hashtag we want to do, like CNCF cries or something like that. <laughs> what what is what is the show or movie that you will cry at every time, instantly, with with, with without a doubt? And for me, I, I've got several. Obviously, as as easy for me to do, but. You know, and my partner's super into sad foreign movies, so so that's that's part of it too. But for me, I will always cry when Goose dies. When Goose, dies, I'm a wreck. I'm a wreck. <laughs> I'm absolutely like I'm snot tears everywhere like that, I'm sobbing. 
right? When Goose dies, doesn't matter how many times I've seen it. Yeah, I can't blame you. Uh, I I can't make it through Moulin Rouge without ugly crying, and like that that one just that one just does it to me. Uh, but we have technical questions we should answer. Why should someone wait for the new CKA to come out? I don't think you necessarily like hard should should. It's hey. just that. What's CKA? Ooh, CKA stands for Certified Kubernetes Administrator. And it's the uh, the first um, CNCF cert you should get usually. Uh, I think it's a prerequisite for the security one. Isn't it? It's a prerequisite yeah. for one of them. It is. Yeah. And they'll go into that next week. Yes. Uh, Siam is going to have a show next week about the certs, which is how, how I got into this. But then we um, kind of went off on a tangent, which is typical for both of us. But uh, Siam is going to be going over uh, some questions about the various certifications. Uh, that show will be next week. It's called Certs Magic. Nice. And uh, that, that's also going to be like very that's going to be very helpful for, for me personally, because again, I don't have any of these. Tim doesn't have any of these. And um, I don't know about Tim, but I've done zero studying. I have done exactly zero studying also. So there we are. We'll be brand fresh newbie noobs and we'll be able to go along with that. It'd be kind of cool. Ellen Corps. I, I, I fucking love Ellen. Ellen is so cool. She really is. She's just, just rad. <laughs> we love you, Ellen. We do. We'll have to get you on one of our shows at some point. Dibs. Uh, you you have dibs? Well, I, I mean, I guess that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Because Ellen is... Ellen, are you a maintainer of any sandbox projects? Oh, oh hey. Speakers, someone, oh, asked, Rock goes awake. someone asked me earlier if I was a professional cheerleader. The answer is no. I am a Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner, and I... Don't like to be put in guard, so I will deadlift people from the ground. From the ground. From from the ground. So have, there's there's videos on the internet. If you if you ask, if you haven't seen them, I'll I'll post them back up. But yeah, I deadlift people. Uh, you two mentioned certification content is being updated. Is this regarding CKA? Uh, I will dig back. And if you if you just DM me on on Twitter, I will dig back through the archives and um, find out what specifically is changing, and um, let you know. Uh, and just so oh, you know, simulator now. Here, let me I, grab the link, and that's what changed. Yeah, sorry. I do want to take a minute to to first of all thank everyone who is uh, hopping in the chat. This is an interactive show to some extent. So if you pop some in the chat, we are going to talk about it. Yeah, that's true. So uh, this is what's this is what's changed. We have a simulator uh, coming out for the uh, Kubernetes certification exams. So instead of just you know going through the training and studying and then trying the exam, you can you can now take an exam simulator, which uh, that's yeah, Ellen's. Uh, Super stoked. Yeah. Like, like I like that too, because I know for me, like ADHD and anxiety together, which is a, a real treat for me when it comes to taking time for, for tests. Um, so that's going to help, help, uh, you know, work some of those nerves out. So thank you. CNC. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I have like pretty extreme test anxiety. It doesn't matter like how well I know the material. If I haven't, if I don't know what the exam might look like, everything I know just like falls straight out of my brain mm -hmm. every time. So, so and uh, Magno, you asked me to tell how um, BJJ helped my me in my career. I, I got to say that's going to be that's a long answer. So I promise you, I will cover that on Solid State. Just just tune in, and, and we'll go over that. So, Tim, who's your first guest for Solid State? Do you know yet? I don't know yet. I've got I've got some folks lined up. It's some personal favors, and we're working on scheduling. I can tell you that one of the shows will be me, right? Because uh, you know, it's gonna. I have a good story, believe it or not. Um, but uh, but we're gonna line up some other folks. It's primarily gonna be folks who are who are people of color, LGBTQ, neurodivergent, anything like that. Um, 
people that have, you know, different educational backgrounds and things like that. So, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we're working on confirming the first guest. Rad. Well, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. What day is it next week? It is next Monday. Next Monday. Ooh. Okay. I don't have anything to do next Monday because I'm fun employed. So yes. I'll be watching. You better uh, be. And if you don't heck, if you don't heckle me in the chat, I'm gonna be very upset with you, Cat Cosgro. I will always heckle you in the chat. I'm there for you. I'm there to heckle you. Uh, a reminder for the people watching: please like and subscribe. Hit the follow button. Hit the follow button. Turn notifications on. There's a little little bell in the upper right hand corner for turning on notifications, so you get an email. Or if you have Twitch installed on your phone, you'll get a push notification whenever we go live so that you don't miss any of the cool stuff we have mentioned so far. Uh, do we have any more shows to cover? Let's see. I think we covered everybody for this week and a couple for next. Yeah. Looks like we did. Oh, no. One more. One more. Cloud Native Latinx. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah. So finally, uh, the CNCF is branching out a bit outside of, uh, you know, mostly English speaking um, for content. So this is Cloud Native Latin America, and it's going to be hosted by uh, Leonardo, who y'all might, you should probably know Leonardo. But uh, that one is, where's the schedule? That's going to be, I've got that started for show Tuesday, Tuesday the 15th. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's Tuesday the 15th. So let me read his description of what this is. Because, wow, he wrote like, he got in there with this description. Good for him. The pitch. Cloud Native Latinx tells the story of uh, Latin. Latinxes? How do you pronounce that when you were reading it? Latinxes? Yeah, we'll go with that. Latinxes that have succeeded in the world of cloud native technology and open source. We talk about their origins and professional trajectory and focus on being a source of advice and inspiration for all to realize their potential, rise up in the industry, and support their local communities. Tune in for real world advi advice on how to advance your career in the world of cloud native and demonstrate to the world the power and pride of our Latin community. Uh, we are super excited to have him too. That is, and that is super, uh, super. Ellen is typing Portuguese in yep. the chat. I'll just, here, here we go. We'll give Ellen some attention. But that is a, does the simulator also simulate me having access to a room that fits the requirements where I can take the exam? Um, regrettably, no, uh, we're not there yet from a technological standpoint. Um, and I don't think, and we can't provide like, you know, VR headsets for everyone though. That would be cool. Um, <laughs> so we've given you a quick overview of every show we have coming up over the next two weeks, as well as a significant quantity of banter uh cloud native carnival show submission that's yeah that's what the dunking the dunk tank is for and the like giant cartoon yoink yeah remember dan early in the show when you said anything we want yeah that's what we want mm -hmm. i'm sorry but yeah that's yeah you, you told us we could do it you you did so i hate it for you buddy but uh <laughs> You know, write me, write me a check. If you want to submit a show, I am on, I'm on the show. Are you talking to <laughs> I, us? I think he's talking to the, the population at large. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, if you want to submit a show, the instructions for submitting a show are in our shiny new GitHub repo, which is now public for all of y'all to uh, look at and see what we have going on. Do we have, do we have a vehicle for folks to submit guest ideas to the show um we don't have one globally but i will probably set up one specifically for my show probably just Same. a google form or something yeah at Are me on twitter 
are yeah add us on twitter are we being made fun of for saying all y'all who's wait who, i know y'all ain't coming after me for all y'all y'all better not be man y'all done lost your mind bless his heart bless his heart sweet summer child <laughs> <laughs> the cloud Not native pirates what's the cloud native pirates i don't, I don't, I don't know that's a good one. cloud native pirates <laughs> smiling not making fun okay okay good. fair. That's a good good because we I was because i was going to accuse you of putting sugar in grits mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that ain't right i don't i don't tolerate that i put cheese butter and a ton of black pepper in my grits. I don't even really. Oh man, he does put sugar in grits. Come on. Oh, oh. why? <clears throat> Remember, this is we 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 don't have hate speech here, right? <laughs> I will not take. I will not see this talk of of grits being denigrated like that. But Tim, do you prefer your cornbread sweet or savory? Uh, I, you know, I was a very diehard savory cornbread person, but a couple of people have made some very good culinary cases for sweet cornbread. That said, sweet cornbread is something that is enjoyed alone and not with anything else. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm team savory as well. I, I have been known to put honey on cornbread, but, but typically I just put butter on it. I also like to, um, mix in like bits of jalapeno and onion mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. deep fry it. So, so, so the, the, the real one, the like for real, for real, when I'm being like indulgent bacon fat. Oh yeah. Um, oh, bread. Oh, bread. every time. Oh, Oh okay. yeah. What he asked, what are grits? It's, oh, gosh. uh, it's hominy, like, ground hominy. Yeah. It's kind of, it, it's kind of like polenta. I guess the like the closest thing I can think of. Yeah, not, yeah, you're right. No, you're right. You're right. It's, it is it's, like it's not the same. No, really. it's a different. It's a different texture when you eat it. Yeah, right. like they're both made out of ground corn, but it's P polenta is just regular dry corn, and grits are hominy corn. And, yeah, and, and so, um, but yeah, polenta both savory. You can you can season them similarly. I have used grits yeah. in, in substitution for polenta in restaurants I've worked at. Um, oh gosh, Ellen, I was, Ellen, I, I loved you until this very moment. And <laughs> now I'm just, <laughs> it dance out. <laughs> <laughs> corn, oh, porridge. Like corn porridge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 We'll yeah. I mean, that. it is tech. I, it technically, I think it is a corn porridge, right? I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. Like I'm so hurt by that pineapple on, on grits. Ellen, you I, I'm going to send you my Venmo for my therapy bill after this. Yeah, you you owe you owe ten money for that one. And, <laughs> you know, I'll be I'll be okay. I'll make it. Um, but yeah, mm, pineapple. Well, maybe no, no, not pineapple. no, not mm -mm. no. Can't. And I like I'm, pineapple on pizza. I do. I'm sorry, I do. But well, I like pineapple on pizza if there's jalapenos and pepperoni on there as well. I will accept payment, Ellen, in specially crafted snacks. I can be bought with food. The I have I've said this before, and I'll say this again: the list of things that I would do for banana bread or pumpkin bars is embarrassingly short. The list of things I would not do. A oh, lot of things are in play. Lemon bars for me. I'm a lemon. I like lemon bars. I don't love lemon bars, right? And and I don't care if if you were expecting tech when you came to the show. Clearly, you have not followed me and Cat Cosgrove at all. It's because. true. We can't. We cannot stay on topic. We absolutely will just like veer off into the wilds. <laughs> so, but uh, have banana bread? Have we ever eaten? I have eaten grilled pineapple. I've yeah. never put ground cinnamon on it. Um, let me think about that. Let me think about it. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good. I, I, I like grilled peaches more than grilled pineapple. Oh, yeah. A grilled peach with like some just plain yogurt, some, some where, balsamic. Where are you? So, so El Armageddon had me thinking about grapefruit um, because they're fantastic and they're amazing. And 
they mention how much they love grapefruit. And one of the things I love to do in the summer is to grill grapefruit, just oh, yeah. split it right in half and put it right down in the thing. Oh, yeah. Um, with it, with a little, you know, like I, I because you know, the Texas have Mexican, I'll put that gene on it, but sometimes just a little bit of salt, just a little. Oh, salt, salt, salt is the best thing to be putting on grape. Like sugar can just like go home. Salt is what belongs mm -hmm. on yeah. grapefruit and on watermelon and on cantaloupe. Yes, I am me and salt and watermelon. And people, people who have never had salt on watermelon, like salt and watermelon, are you crazy? But no, salt, yes, no. salt on watermelon. There cool. is there is a video that I will not link because it I don't is not work appropriate and it contains words that white people should never say. <laughs> but there was a former there's, there's a, 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 a civil rights activist whose name was Petey Green who used to have a uh, cable access um, you know public access cable TV show in the 70s and he had a whole episode on salt on watermelon. So if you go and Google PD Green salt and watermelon, you're going to get this show. And it is, I I am under, I'm like inconsolable. I am laughing so hard and I love it. So, but yeah, now don't put too much. You can't use iodized salt on anything. It really shouldn't yeah, be used no. at sea all. Sea salt. Sea salt. Sea salt, big flaky sea salt crystals on watermelon. It's amazing. You can also put yeah. chili powder, chili salt, amigo. The chili salt, um, the chamoy is what we call it. The chamoy and mango is, it's the best paleta. And I'll I, fight. I'll, 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 I'll die on that hill. I, w I'm willing to die on that hill with you. Uh, so, you know, we, we die together, Tim. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't think of anybody else. <laughs> I'm i uh, I'm bougie though. So I have, um, I have two salts, two like regular salts and then an array of seasoned salts. My cat's climbed up into my lap. Mine, uh, mine is meowing under the door. I'm, I think that's that's his little paw right there, right there somewhere. Uh, I, I have two like regular unflavored salts, uh, coarse like kosher sea salt for cooking, and then I have Malden salt just for putting on stuff. And it, Malden salt is so expensive, and it's these huge fat triangular crystals. But mm -hmm. that's the salt that you want to be putting on like fruit and stuff because it's so yeah. crunchy, and you really don't need much of it at all i know espresso it's so so i think it's interesting like i hope we talk about tech and, and yeah I may, maybe i'm going to pitch my own stuff whatever like that so if you ever cook professionally um and have then gotten into tech like we should talk because it's one of the, one of the things that we talked about like salt we talk about flavors we talk about flavor profiles but one of the things that i think really applies is how we use simple ingredients to make something wonderful right it's a it's a it's a grapefruit and salt, right? But it's amazing, right? When you when you transform it, it's no different than using, you know, something very simple and uncomplicated and unassuming like you know, JavaScript. You know, anybody who can, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that because I'm terrible at JavaScript. So, um, but you know, using that to create something wonderful, like that's what we do. We take we take words and we turn them into code, like, and then we take code and we turn it into applications, and we take applications and we turn them into money, right? But but in the end, we're all still just banging at ones and zeros on keyboards, um, and I think it's kind of amazing when we all look at the things that, that look at the things that that we have in common, look at the things that bring us together. It's that we make things out of simple ingredients. Yeah, we just want to make stuff and be able to pay our bills. Yeah, really, I'm here for the money. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm, I'm 100 here for them. Every time that discourse comes up on Tech Twitter, though, yeah. Ooh, why are you? Why did you get into tech? For the money. Yeah, no. <laughs> and and I will make I will make the statement again. Anybody who says they're not in tech for the money, you can feel free to Venmo me your paycheck. <laughs> yeah, it's um we wanna believe that it we're we're here for, you know, uh lofty, righteous reasons, but like I love what I do. I re I really I really do, but but straight up. Also, the money is lofty, that, righteous reasons. <laughs> that that fan is incredible. I love it <laughs> so much, and you. I love you too, Kat. And <laughs> so does Espresso. Um, she's drooling now, though, which is gross, <laughs> but. She gets very excited. Is it a typo of the German word 
Shot. Uh, what does that mean, Ellen? I don't even know what what a shot mean in German. Yeah. It is. It is not a typo. It is not. But I don't know what shod. Shade. Is it shod or shade? Shod. No, because right. shade is S A D E. Oh, it means pity. No, you're no. not pitying anybody. You may pity the fool in that way, but it's still different than shade. Yeah, shade is you're you're passing judgment, you're casting aspersions. But you're casting aspersions in a way that you can't. It's like slips right between the ribs. You yeah, know what I'm it's so subtle. If you it's do shade so properly, southern. It's it's very it's very underhanded. So I know espresso. She's very she's very dramatic. But mm -hmm. <laughs> we are coming up on uh, time. Is there any anything else anybody wants to ask us about cloud native TV or about computers uh, or yeah. about you know what goes on fruit um ama y'all yeah got anything for oh it? by the way so i i also too i won't take much you know thanks to to pop for like getting all this and putting all this together um if you if you appreciate what you see here everyone chip in and get like pop a mets hat because he's a mets fan i think right he's mets yeah mets, mets and nicks mets and yeah. nicks yeah um so yeah get get pop all the met stuff you can absolutely like hats jerseys stickers everything like that you know that's he loves that and he wants more of that yeah yeah definitely uh signed baseball bats uh j2 jay gordon loves the mets yeah loves yeah, the jay, mets. jay loves the mets so much Gosh, like more than mets. anything else and really i appreciate about that 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 about them so yeah jay gordon and pop get them all the mess stuff you can we we love them we want them to feel loved uh <laughs> mm. yep all of those th that was all true that was all true uh when should we have a uh kubecon latin america yeah that was that's shade um so i don't i don't know when a kubecon latin america is happening i would love to see that happen asap but you, regrettably neither i nor tim is in control of that you know when you know when i would ask that question friday. i yeah i would yeah that's a question to ask friday because steven constance and um jasmine will have more answers if they are allowed to answer i'll, uh, I'll put it like this i'll put it like this if we have a KubeCon Latin America, I will go. Me too. I will be glad to do a talk in Spanish or Portuguese. Ooh. But I will only do I will only do a talk in Portuguese because I'm my Portuguese isn't that great, so I'd have to definitely read it. But uh, but yeah. Uh, yes, Ellen. I think there is a community day, but there's there's not a whole KubeCon. Sorry, I say KubeCon instead of KubeCon. What, what, it's not KubeCon? It's, I think technically it's KubeCon because it's Kubernetes. Oh gosh, here we go again. But I say is KubeCon. It, is it and CubeCTL or a Cube, KubeCTL or a CubeCuddle or a CubeCuddle or? Uh, I say CubeCTL or CubeControl. I say, I say CubeCTL. I pronounce the letters at the end. Yeah. It's, it's usually, if I'm teaching somebody, uh, which is, you know, usually what I'm doing when I'm talking about Kubernetes, I say uh, cube CTL and just just pronounce the whole thing out because because I'm talking to students and they don't know our jargon. Kubecon. It is now Kubecon. 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 Like okay. Kublecon, but different. <laughs> Even Espresso has something to say about that one. <laughs> oh, oh my God, she's she's being very dramatic right now which is, you know, typical. Um, anyway, does anybody else have a question for us left before we wrap this up, close it out? Thank you for following and we'll see you on the schedule. Uh, yeah. Anybody? Hey, Kat. Hey. As always, ben? it's been a pleasure. You know what? It's always a pleasure working with you. And one day we'll meet in person. I know. Kat, so Kat and I have never met in person. Like all the, all the candor we have is all from Twitter, Discord, and like streams. Yeah, that's it. Just Get, never actually met. Do you know what I'm going to do when I meet Kat? Guess. Guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to cry. <laughs>
that's okay. Uh, I will probably, uh, I will probably also cry. The first time somebody uh, hugged me after like, you know, more than a year of being isolated, I, I cried immediately. Like it just, somebody, somebody other than my husband touched me and I cried. So it's, you know. You know, I, I gotta be honest with someone other than your husband touched me. I'd cry too. <laughs> Oh, people think we're cute. Oh, thank you. You're cute. You're cute. Everybody's cute. Which Even is another thing I love about the CNCF community. Everybody is so like adorable. Everybody's so adorable, like all the time. Everybody's so positive and uplifting. But <laughs> <laughs> I was with you, and then you started to get a little crazy there. A little bit crazy there. It's been it's been a it's been a couple of days. It's been like a three days, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we are at time. We got to wrap it up. Um, Tim, do you have any last words? Um, the only thing I want to remind everybody is, hey, you know, take care of your folks. Remember uh, that Juneteenth is coming up in a couple, not this weekend, but Father's Day weekend. So, you know, if you don't know about Juneteenth, check it out. We celebrate Juneteenth. Remember, don't put sugar in your grits. And uh, yeah, man, everybody just take care of each other. True that. Uh, definitely taking taking care of each other is not, not really a lot matters more than that. IMO. Um Thank you all for coming to watch us babble for an hour about uh, the schedule and what we're trying to build here with Cloud Native TV and um, controversial salt. opinions about, yeah, salt on fruit. Um, if you think that salt on fruit is controversial, I, I really, I cannot stress enough that you have to try it. Just please don't use iodized salt. Don't use the like shaker, tiny grains stuff that doesn't that's not mm -mm. Mm. Fact, you should throw that away you shouldn't have it, it it's Pineapple, it's it is for it is for the zombie apocalypse it's an emergency life. situation yeah. <laughs> yeah that's not that's not something you should be cooking with on the regular yeah. if you can avoid it keep you from getting scurvy that's about it i think uh hot take versions on twitter um tim and i's twitter accounts are both all uh hot takes all the time Hot takes, shit posts, and, and thirst traps. I think Pretty is literally much. all we do. Yeah, that's 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 all that's all we do. It's we never post anything else. But thank you, everyone. It's been lovely, Tim. Thank you for doing this with me. You, you are Kat. lovely. <laughs> and and are you and as you, are, <laughs> you are too. <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> Good night, everybody. See ya. <laughs>